My name is Matt Watanabe and I will be graduating in May of 2023 in the spring. Uh, so when I got into McCombs, I really wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do. Uh, so as soon as I got on campus, I started talking to some students that were older than me. I started taking some of the intro business classes and kind of started figuring out what I didn't like and what I did like. And one of those things that I did like was accounting. Um, and I actually did my first internship uh, and then absolutely loved it. And so kept taking the accounting courses, kept diving deeper into all the different things you can get involved with uh, in accounting. And it kind of all just clicked for me and I knew I had found exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, it all really boils down to one word for me, which is flexibility. Uh, for me, the accounting degree here uh, with the MPA degree is great in the sense that I can you know, go into public accounting, but then after that I can take that degree and I can go into industry, I can go work for the government, I can really go anywhere, which is again really what's special for me. And when on campus too, there's all sorts of different classes, different electives, things that I frankly had no idea I thought I could possibly take in college, I can do all of that in the MPA degree. And you know, with only being able to do it in such a limited amount of time in college, being able to cram in so many different classes, whether they're undergraduate or graduate, things that are in Macombs and even outside of them. You know, I took a business and sports media class when I was a sophomore, did all of that through the MPA program. And the program, like I said, going back to that word, gave me a lot of flexibility to be able to do all those things. Uh, so last fall, I took a class called Corporate Governance, actually just down the hallway right here with Dr. Bill Cunningham. And the whole premise of the class is he tries to get his students ready to be in the boardroom. So whether they're the lead director, they're on the audit committee, all that sort of stuff. And generally speaking, the class is once a week and he'd bring in all sorts of different guest speakers to talk about you know, a wide variety of topics from a corporate governance perspective. And the thing that really made it special to me was that he brought in you know, whether it was the whistleblower from the Enron scandal or someone that literally went to space because she was an astronaut or um, someone who represented some of the largest companies and some of the largest scandals in history and talking about how to handle all those problems when you're the leader, when all the lights are on you and when everyone's asking you all those really important questions. So, you know, it wasn't necessarily an exam intensive class. It wasn't a homework intensive class, but I walked out with all sorts of different knowledge that, you know, you don't necessarily expect to get when you walk into a classroom uh, any given day. So for me, my recruiting process was a little bit different than most. I applied for my first internship with the firm that I'm going to be working for after graduation before I actually joined the MPA program. Uh, so I applied and because I'm going to be or was planning to work in the Chicago office, I actually had to do all my recruiting basically online even before the pandemic. So all my interviews were on Zoom, all of my assessments and stuff were also done through my computer as well. Um, and so I didn't get to necessarily visit my home office again being Chicago because I was all the way down here in Texas. Um, but I kept doing my internships with the firm and even for a lot of my friends that are you know, either now just going through recruiting and me now being kind of on the other side and getting to be one of the sort of campus ambassadors for my firm when you know, looking for new people to recruit. There are, all, there are all sorts of different on-campus events now, which is super exciting. I know my firm, Ernst & Young, for instance, next week, we're gonna be doing a tailgate where potential applicants can come, get to know us, get to know the firm, and there's all sorts of other things, like even yesterday we had something down on South Congress where people could come and check us out as well. So next year, I'm gonna be moving up to Chicago to join Ernst & Young in their forensic practice. Super, super excited. I'm gonna be doing some investigations, doing some compliance, and then kind of a handful of other different things based on whatever they need me to do. So really, really excited for that. Um, but trying to keep my options open, you know, whether that means staying with the firm. Um, I'm also a huge sports person growing up here in Texas. I love football, um, but being born in Chicago, I love the Bears. So um, being someone that works in front office, whether that's in payroll, working on salary caps, also something I'm really interested in. Um, and given my, you know, so far relatively limited forensics background, also really interested in potentially working for the federal government and law enforcement with accounting and finance background positions. The biggest thing for me, I think, is just to keep an open mind. One of the things that I really love about McCombs, and we kind of already talked about it, is there's so many different things to get involved in, and especially in the MPA program in accounting. There are all sorts of different industries, different roles, different positions, companies, and all sorts of things that that MPA degree can help get you towards. So even if you go into the MPA program thinking, I'm gonna be 
an audit intern and then I'm gonna go and audit full time. Um, there might be some opportunity that pops up along the way. So just being willing to you know, jump at those opportunities and ask a lot of questions when those things do arise, I find is really important um, because accountants aren't necessarily what people build them up to be in their minds where they're working in some back office by themselves, crunching numbers with the little tacky visor um, that sometimes you see on TV. You know, people are working out in the field, they're working with clients, they're doing frankly really cool stuff, um, not just with specifically crunching numbers, but you know, getting to work, like I said, with like different clients, again, for me, whether that's sports teams, whether that's major companies, or working with specific people that you find to be really interesting. So, you know, like I said, keep an open mind, ask a lot of questions, and um, don't hesitate to jump on an opportunity when it comes your way. Hook em.